Hi, let's take a look at New Window 11 external Dolby Atmos renderer integration. Starting with Dolby Atmos Production Suite software, which is only available for Mac computers, it includes the Dolby Atmos renderer 3.5 and Dolby Audio Bridge Core Audio Driver. Now, if we take a look at the signal flow, the Mac computer will need to run both New Window 11 and the Dolby Atmos renderer at the same time. The Dolby Audio Bridge driver should be selected in New Window 11 under Studio, Studio Setup, Audio System, and offers up to 130 channels of I.O. Under Audio Connections, Output tab, create a 7.1.2 bus connected to the Dolby Audio Bridge ports 1 through 10. Now, if we look at the Dolby Atmos renderer under Preferences Driver, the Core Audio Dolby Audio Bridge driver should be selected under Audio Input Device. Now, to keep the Dolby Atmos renderer in sync with New Window 11, a dedicated audio channel, in this example channel 89, is needed using New Window 11 built in SEMTI generator plugin. Now, under Audio Output Device, I will use a Yamaha AIC 128D card. A headphone panel rendering mode is available under Preferences Headphone and adjustable preferences are available on the Object View section and Banner Render Mode window of the Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5. The Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5 offers downmixing monitoring options. You can record and export a master file in different format, including ADM BWF, as well as punch in and out of a master recording. You can also attenuate or dim the monitor output level, as well as mute, beds and objects independently, or all monitor outputs. Up to 128 channels can be used with the Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5. Metering, including loudness and output limiter for speaker, headphone, and re-renderer are also available. Speaker mute and an adjustable object virtual 3D room with preferences are available based on the project at hand. The Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5 supports custom speaker setup, routing, and monitoring layouts. Now, from the Dolby Atmos renderer, the signal can be processed through a DSP processor and or power amplifiers to fine-tune your speaker configuration in the monitoring room. For example, the Yamaha MMP1 processor can provide control room functionality, flexible bass management, and can be controlled directly from a NUASH system. Now, let's take a look at New Window 11 setup requirements when using the external Dolby Atmos renderer. All bed channels should be routed to the main output bus 7.1.2 or a specific speaker, and all object channels should be bused to the main bus. Open the external Dolby Atmos renderer setup window under Studio, and with the Dolby Atmos production suite, use the loopback IP address 127.0.0.1 to connect to the renderer. Click on Map All to patch New Windows Dolby Audio Bridge Driver output ports to the Dolby Atmos Renderer input ports. A preset can be saved, removed, or renamed. Open the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window under Project or File Export ADM and select External Dolby Atmos Renderer under Renderer. Make sure AutoConnect Object Buses is checked for automatic connections. You can now select one or multiple object channels in a project window and create objects from selected tracks and their functions. Now, the external Dolby Atmos renderer setup window can also be opened from the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window by clicking on the renderer setup icon. A green LED should be visible when the external Dolby Atmos renderer is opened. Now, if we take a look at New Window 11 ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos functions, AutoConnect Object Buses will automatically add object buses in the Audio Connection Output tabs, automatically set the VST multipanel to Object Mode and route it to the renderer, and the Dolby Atmos renderer will automatically add an input status indicator for each object channel. So if we take a look at a new Window 11 project using the external Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5, in this project I have bed channels routed to the left and right speaker, a VCA channel with automation, bed channels routed to the 7.1.2 main bus, and I have created a few workspaces to quickly access different Windows configuration and plugins.
So if we take a look at the ADM Dolby Atmos render window, you can see I have a bunch of mono object channels already connected and patched to the Dolby Atmos renderer 3.5. Now if we take a look at the external Dolby Atmos renderer, the renderer is set to a 7.1.4 monitoring configuration, set to input source playback from New Window 11, with sync activated in the transport section. So let's play back this project from New Window 11. When ready to record a master file, create a new master file under the Renderer File menu, choose a directory and name for the master file, and engage the Record button on the Transport section of the Renderer. You can now start playback from New Window 11. To play back the master file from the Dolby renderer, set the renderer to master as source, disable the sync function, and click on the play button. Thanks for watching.